I'm Edward Cook, director of W Cook Farmers Limited. We're here at Tudor Farm Educate Aylesbury, which we have farmed now for 40 years. This farm is mainly grass. We do have a little arable, but we, we mainly produce sheep here now for, for the meat job. We swapped 13 years ago over to Easy Care Sheep when the textiles were becoming unprofitable and so we don't produce any wool now and we rely on our grass for the fat lamb which we produce a good deal of silage to fatten sheep and lambs in the shed in the winter time as well as fattening our lambs out on the grass throughout the summer. We're a very wet farm heavy clay underneath, blue clay underneath but with a quite a, a loamy soil on the surface so we can produce high quantities of, of grass in a short period but during the winter time it's impossible to keep sheep on the ground so we need quite a substantial quantity of silage of good quality to keep the sheep throughout the winter of which on a bad year they'll be in for five months they're usually in for about four months. We use a long term lay with extra clover in and on our soil type here, we, we, with the heavy clay underneath and, and tends to be wet all the time, we use quite a bit of timothy in the mix as well. This is the sort of typical sward that we're after. A good grazing sward that lasts throughout most of the season. Not the earliest to start, but when it does produce grass, we get a lot of grass. We like to have a good amount of clover in the sward specifically to fatten the lambs because we find that produces a lot more milk in the ewes and we get a lot more fat lambs straight off the grass then. We use on average between about 100 120 units of, of nitrogen and we put phosphate and potash on according to what the soil tests are. We sow the grass seed after winter wheat and then um, we'll graze it as soon as it's tall enough. Then we do a mixture of grazing through the, through the period of its life and cutting for silage and hay, depending on how much grass we've got growing on the appropriate year. We do a rotation of our fields for grazing so that we don't graze or mow the same fields year on year. All our fields are grazed for lambing time because we scatter our sheep out over the whole farm for, for lambing. And then we'll shut them up May time for silage, some to summer into June. So we cut our silage almost, it's treated as a second silage cut, but it's natural fact it's our first and we get substantial yields of, of silage. We, we'll be looking at, at well over 10 tonnes um, to the acre of, of good quality silage, which has only been growing for about five weeks. And um, we find that absolutely ideal for the sheep. We swapped to Cotswolds grass mixes quite a few years ago. I went to see a neighbour and liked his lay and asked him who he'd got it from, and he, it was Cotswold, and we've been with Cotswold ever since. We used to use various other different mixtures, but they, they were not as good as what we're on to nowadays. We use Cotswold because of the quality of the grass seed that we get and, and their service. <laughs>